Yeah, pretty much. Hey, uh, Yoshi, while you're on, uh, t tell me how my voice sounds, like, if everything... How's the audio levels? Is my voice too loud? How the stream look? Is is all the audio right? Is the all right? I, I can quiet my voice a little bit. All right. <coughs> that was a cough. That was probably louder than my actual talking. But yeah, this is a uh, Ben Weevil's Arty Arcade. It's. This is more or less how the game looks like right after you boot it. There's a title screen that I could show. I'm not sure what this actually is. Amusingly, it does skin your cursor, so I was like, oh man, is this shit full screen that doesn't let you leave? But it's actually borderless full screen, I think. Um, what you're seeing is only a section note. It's a uh, got a giant. It's got a giant black uh, letter boxing, uh, a giant black border around it on my ten. Or 192080 monitor. Let's wait for him. See if anyone else is showing up. I really want Rick to show up because he bought me this game. All right, John will be watching in bed. Yeah, this is looks like a good game to watch in bed. So yeah, let's see. Right off the bat, we got this yellow dude who looks like some kind of bug, like a skeeter or something. We got a cake with bugs flying around it. Is the stream having problems? Okay. Yeah, I... Apparently the stream blew up for a moment. Um, it looked fine on my end, but you never know. Anyway, Rick's here so I can get the arty started. This is Ben Weevil's arty arcade. Um, hold on, let me turn the volume down a little in my ears. Hopefully it didn't turn the game volume down for you guys. Um, there's no music right now. That is indeed the case. The game has a bit of silence between changing songs in this screen so yeah um, there was a screen that told me some stuff I could do but I, don't, I clicked out of it to make sure the exit button worked properly earlier so let's go to the color mixing lab okay welcome to labs lab Whoa, it's a lot of instructions. This is like that mini game from uh, Thousand Year Door where you have to make a potion to turn Peach invisible. I bet that's what this is. I have. Okay, that's way too many words. I don't know how they're going to make a kid's game and give you six whole boxes of words to read, like all on the screen at once. Let's see. I probably should have read the instructions. Let's see. Alright, I'm selecting it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Can't, can't click this guy, he doesn't help me. Alright, he gives me that smile. Oh wait, no, he's just doing his thing. Hey Yoshi, what's up? Alright, going yellow. Oh, wow. This game is serious instructions from... I... Hey shit, you got me fucked with everything I'm reading all that. Look at this. This this is a lot of words. Like, what kid is gonna read all this? I know I am about to read all that. Let's go. All right, we got the red squigglies. We're gonna draw the thing. Wow, listen to that drawing music. There's some epic drawing tunes. 
All right, we're gonna get some blue squiggles, you know. Some for some grass. Can't draw on the, the thingies. Some dress, you know. Get some uh, of the Van Dyke brown. Draw a happy little tree. That's a Bob Ross joke for you. This tree is made of pee pee. This, this is a pea tree. It's made of pee. I think the leaves went a little lower. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know if I can get a POS guy in this, but let's see. Yeah, I, I could do that. Just a, a POS guy. Only 90s kids will remember POS guy. Put some more red squigglies. Uh, let's put a square on top of this squiggly. Oh, that's that looks kind of like a dude with the hat on. There we go. That's Joe Taro from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's what that is. Let's see what these other things is. That's a, a different brush. Oh, maybe I had to go to the other screen to mix colors. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's get squirrely with it. All right, these are different brushes. Right clicking does nothing, by the way. So. Oh, I could use that for my uh, happy little tree. That's probably what that's meant for. That does... Whoa. This is an arty arcade, alright. <laughs> okay, that's... um. Alright. Click the squirrel again. Let's get 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 a few more squirrely parts. Yeah, that's all right. Black does rainbow on that apparently. I think others do rainbow. It's just different rainbow. Okay, these probably teleport you to different features of the game. Let's see what the elephant does. Elephant do, does square, vaguely things. Let's see what the, the green pretzel does. I don't want to use white because I don't want to erase my masterpiece. That's a brush. Oh, that's what that was? Okay. Get the balloon horse. Let's draw, an draw another tree. Need another tree. Another tree. There you go, that's, that's our tree. Put, put some uh, green leaves on it. You know, just dab it, dab it around with your paintbrush. You know, it's gonna have, I have some water too. Let's change this and, well, this is gonna be on a hill. It's gonna be, be a red hill. A, a red hill made of circles. And then, you know, in the distance, we can see the ocean. We got, we're gonna have a smile and sunshine. It'll be right here. There we go. It's our smiley sun. Alright, that, I think, I think I'm content with this artwork right here. It's a good artwork. Um, when it, I'm going to leave it on the screen for a while and someone... I don't know how to... Ex there's probably not a way to actually export this as a JPEG or whatever, so I can just capture it from the stream later. This picture will be saved, though. This is, this is artwork right here. You know, this is the kind of shit you hang on your wall when you're a rich person and you got way too much money to spend and your house is way too big and you need something on your wall, anything. It doesn't matter. Just give me a, a, a big square. I'll put it on my wall. You know, impress all the guests. That's what this is. This is art for art people. If you like art, you'll like this. If this is not art for the casual art fan, this is art for hardcore art fans. What I'm trying to say is that let's click on Dasha's gallery. All right, we got. It. Oh man, are we gonna put this shit in the frame?
What? See, there, here we go with the instructions again. There's way too many different things. After they already had a screen telling me. Um... That sound... I don't know if I... What? Okay. It's, it, this guy this guy got in a bad accident. He, he you know, he, he took he took he took a, a a weevil to the face. And now he now he's feeling it. He's here but he still reports to his job on BWTV, you know. You got to report the news to the, all the little weevils. Got to say, "Hey, I took a weevil to the face, but it's all good, homies." Now here's the news. Uh there's a car accident. I wasn't in it. I was in a different accident, but now I'm in this accident, and I'm telling you about it. Also, uh, it's gonna snow today. Get your get your snow coats up. All right. Let's see what this does. All right, that might have wiped my other drawing. Let's go in the portal. That's full canvas mode. I don't know what the other modes were. Let's go back to the color mixing lab, see if we can make some really shitty colors. Let's... Oh, maybe I have... Do I have to use this doohickey? May, oh, this is it. There we go. I don't think you actually mix colors. I think they just didn't want to make an interface that has... Um, ten whole color slots on it. They only had room for six. So... Let's get all all our puke greens. Um, there's not a brown on here, unfortunately, so I'll have to do with red. And... Let's get a purple. So we're gonna have... We're gonna have this on, on our next paint job. Alright. Not sure what that did. Let's see what our box files is. Save or print your design at any time. This might be it. This might be the room where you save your thing. Yeah, that thing changed our colors earlier. See what Bin Weevil does. Okay. Let's see. Here you go. Cover up his dick. You know. We don't want we don't want to show the kids this bug's dick on TV while he's talking about the news. I don't think that saved. Okay. This maybe this re replaces the bin weevil brush. Let's get this uh this awful red Reese's peanut butter cup. Yeah, that's what that does. I guess it's more like a gear or a lid. It'd be really tall. Put a few purple squares. That's it. There we go. Let's click on a different thing. Let's click on the main room. Oh, we can make our own calendars, guys. It's time for the Sexy Weevil 2016 calendar. It even says January 2016 on it. They got software techniques, guys. Full canvas mode. Do they have page-a-day calendars? I want to draw 365 shitty drawings and then print each one out on a separate page and then just tear one out off each day. That's what I want. All right, these are different calendar options. So th there's our uh, bug calendar. You make flyers. If 
you want to hang these around town. A party kit? Wow, that... Pl I guess if you got a RSVP for a, a party in the bug room with all their, you know, their green goop and their different green goops and their, the birthday cake with the bugs on it, it doesn't do anything when you click on it. Activity board. The game has way fewer features and click onable things. Let's see what than I thought it would. Let's see what Tink's Tree does. Welcome to Tink's Tree. This is the best music. I need to just play this music all the time. Get, click on the cauldron. Sounds good. I wonder if there's a button to see these again. That would be useful if, if instead of showing the big tutorial and then this thing if it just had a, like a help button anywhere and you click it and it shows these that might be cool but we're going to the cauldron I'm not sure what I just accomplished let's click on this horrible looking person um, let's click on the blood spatter Alright, I found, I, I found the farting flower, you guys. Just just puff the magic flower. So there are click-onable things in this game. Sometimes. Alright, you can click on uh, the, the claimed slug for a butt up here. I... I wonder if this takes place in the same universe as the movie A Bug's Life. Be pretty funny if it did. Or B movie or Ants or any one of those CG movies about bugs. There's, there's a bunch of them and I can't remember which one is which. Still feel like I'm missing out on something like how to actually do really do things with these. Ooh, we can make door hangers. Make a mask. Look at this. All right, guys, we're gonna make a new transforming mask for The Legend of Zelda. This will be used. I'll use this on my next episode of Majora's Mask that I play. We used the airbrush. You know, it's, that's not what I wanted. I don't think this brush is working. I don't think any of these brushes are working. I think it's. Oh, um, is there is there a scissors tool? Can I cut this out live in game? Maybe I have to select that. I gotta select this. Maybe, maybe you're just supposed to print this out. Like, I can't see any other intention here. But, you know, they still have... Help. the help button after all. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's probably what they wanted you to do. They left, But they left in this, all these things by accident. All these features you can't use. Yeah, we're getting out of here. We're going to go back to whatever this is. We haven't been in here yet, actually. Okay. Let's click the fan. Uh, click the hammer. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me figure out how to do that. 
let's, let's get let's get this dude. All right. Let's see what the fan does, everybody. There it is. That's what the fan does. <laughs> All right, we're, we got the fan on. See how everything behaves with the fan on. Uh, it's, it's like that one uh, Metallica cover where they use like the blood and the semen. I think it was called Load or something. It's exactly what I'm making here. Yeah, we can get out the giant fan and all the all the plus one plus one counters, all the charge counters. They're just going all over the place. It's, it's like you know, you got a charge counter on Howling Mine. The fuck I'm gonna do with that? Thanks a lot, giant fan. It's magic jokes for magic players. We made this guy a little wider, I think. All right, this is. This is clearly a masterpiece. Save. Alright, we need a name for this. Any of them want to give me a name? Alright, masterpiece. What? Why don't you just not let me enter spaces in the first place, you ding dong? Alright. I saved I saved masterpiece. Let's see if we could view this in the gallery. Aha, look at this. Masterpiece. So I guess we could just do any of these and it'll do the thing. Let's let's check out Tink. The Tink Tinks. Okay, that just loads it on top of... Oh, wait, these are still from earlier. That's the Ben Weevil. It'll move the Ben Weevil. There's no feature like in Mario Maker to just fling it off the screen to delete it. That's actually my... Uh, Probably an eraser or something. Alright, that. What's that? Do? Oh, that just reverts all your uh, colors, doesn't it? And there's a color. If there's a color picker, and I guess I don't really need those. Yeah, maybe. Is that the eraser? That is the. Oh man, Rick has sent me a gift. I wonder what other shitty game I have received today. Clear canvas. I don't even know what the stamps are. Okay, we got a clear canvas, you guys, so it's time to... That's the color picker. Uh... Alright, inspired by Gamma Metroid, we're gonna make some Metroid art. Alright, we're gonna draw Samus from Metroid. Sam the Samus helmet, you know, the infin infamous symbol of Samus. It's got got the Samus visor. That's an item from Metroid, the Samus visor. It lets you see. I'm gonna color that the squirrel. We're gonna sh shine shine make it shiny in the right spot. You know, we're 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 careful with our artwork. All right, we got we got the the shoulder the shoulder shits. It's the big shoulders. You know, people when you think of Samus, you think of big shoulders. We'll color Samus later. I gotta draw the outlines first, and then you got the body. Sam Samus, very mu muscular warrior, and then you have the legs. Sam Samus has strong strong legs, athletic legs from her training with the the Chozos. Alright, that's our Samus, and then she has 
a hand and then she has a hand that's badly drawn hand we're gonna have to fix that sorry guys we got a hand with a gun on it <laughs> there might be a way to bigotate the eraser but we're gonna roll with it it's our very own Samus we can do whatever we want with it we use the squirrel I think the squirrel is the optimal coloring tool except when it's not we should, probably shouldn't actually use the squirrel I'm sorry everyone Let's see what these are again airbrush that's no airbrush is trash watercolor brush it's not very good either fuck it we're doing an MS paint style get that out of here actually these might be good yeah these metallic looking textures uh, Samus is made of metal it's a uh, Chozo metal from the planet of uh, Talon 4 it's a it's a real planet from Metroid you can look it up the metal helps uh, keep her from being in Tavaria. If she gets in Tavaria, then her uh, health goes down. Yeah, she'll have to change to the fun beam. Is there a way to move Samus to the right? There probably is not. Whatever. We got we gotta gotta keep on rolling. Our right, her gun is kind of a green color. And it's made made of different metal. It's made of swirly metal. So there's Samus's gun. You know, use the eraser to kind of clean up those rough edges a little bit. There we go. Got, got a nice clean edge on Samus's gun. And then uh, the rest of it's orange. We're using a different orange to, you know, kind of mix things up a little bit. Even though that looks the same. You know what? It's our Samus. We can do what we want. We can make rainbow armor for Samus. It's the best armor in the game. It's the Phazon armor. It's ma made of Phazon, which is a uh, substance made of every color on the planet. It's the color rest of Samus. Oh yeah, this is the wacky thing. Like you pick us, get out of here. Pick a center and you just do the thing. Get. Color, color her legs this way too. All right, now uh, let's see, what's this elephant do again? I think this elephant wasn't very good. Oh no, this elephant's great. We should have been using this the whole time. Shit. Now draw a Metroid. You know, it's the last Metroid. It's in captivity. Now Metroids are originally a greenish color, but we're gonna we're gonna draw an ice Metroid. This is a, a new Metroid enemy. It's a original. It's from my Metroid ROM hack. So if you ever play my Metroid ROM hacks, you'll find the ice Metroid. And you know Metroid, on the inside, it's got the orbs. It's got its p power sources. That's what they are. They're Metroid's power sources. When the Metroid eats somebody, its orbs get bigger. That's why you don't see a Metroid eating too many people in the games. Because if a Metro one Metroid eats too many people, its power orbs will get so big that it explodes. So you don't want that to happen. Now, we're going to have to finish this off with a Metroid logo. This is officially licensed artwork. Just real Metroid logo by Shigeru Miyamoto himself. Um, where's that's to get everything out of the way button. So you got Metroid. And then in blue letters, <laughs> W 
That's right, everyone. It's Metroid Federation Force. You know what that means, right? You know what that means. No Samus, everybody. The Metroid series has ended. It's the last Metroid you will ever see. And there you go. Hold on, let's... That's the completed artwork, you guys. Go ahead and, uh, if you want to save this as your wallpaper, now's a good chance. I'm going to press the save button, but I can't guarantee the future of anything I save inside this program. Yeah, feel free to put this on t-shirts or whatever, on coffee mugs. Just, you know, make, make official Metroid merch. As owner of the Metroid franchise, I, I give you permission. I do need to think of a good name for this, though, really. Here's a... Here you go. There you go. It's just, there's, a, there's a good name for you guys. It's a Metroid reference. Only real Metroid fans will get that reference. Oh, Adobe Projector has stopped working. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I get, just got a message that says Adobe Projector has stopped working. Let's see if that... Kills my program. Yep. It sure did. Alright. In the meantime, I can say that uh, Rick gave me a game called Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, which I will accept and add to my library. And we'll restart the game. Actually, yeah, that's, that is a good ending. Failed to start game. Unknown error. Okay, that's it. That's the entire stream of Finn Weevil's RD Arcade. Um, it is kind of late, so I'm not going to stream anything else, but um, thanks for watching. One of these days I'll stream the next thing Rick got me.